Hey everyone, welcome to Archland. We're now with uh, Jin's banner. Before you even decide whether you want to pull for Jin, I'm going to give you guys an overview, a final overview of uh, what to expect um, and also who will Jin be good with. So let's uh, take a look at his skills here. So as you can see, um, fantastic... Uh, <laughs> sword work from Jin. Um, first, I'll go over Jin's um, stats here. So for his stats, guys, um, I don't see any problem really in terms of uh, him. Um, although magic attack and magic defense is down, those are your projects, especially for magic defense here. But the rest of his stats, HP, physical attack, Physical defense focus are excellent. So again, a little bit of um, a little bit of work on magic defense up uh, for his stats, but the rest are superb initially. Okay, so let's take a look at um, his skills. So this one, this uh, these three will be part of uh, what they call this. Will be part of his uh, skill tree or his skill row. So he is water. So again, um, it would be a nice pair for him with Charlotte if you have Charlotte already, especially in PvP. Warrior and a sword. So this, I think, this distortion is going to be part of his middle row. So let's go straight to his kit and let um, let me just uh, describe it there. So this one is for distortion. So active skill range minus one. Okay, going to his trait. Okay, for Jin's kit, the only um, the only direction that um, I think you guys will be going with is the bottom row. So because you will have to get this one. This is the one for his preemptive strike, as you see, as you saw already in his kit a while ago. So this is the one for preemptive strike, the one that makes you strike first before the enemy does. So Jin has a good mix of skills aoe damage high melee damage um you name it this one is similar to uh sighard's skill so again the bottom row is the way to go the middle row this one <coughs> is going to be sealed so disable passive skills which is nice eventually to have then um, this one is also good. So dispels two buffs from the target. So takes away buffs. Again, another um, another hero that can help you in probably removing buffs uh, because some buffs are really that bad. So and this one is his primary passive, which is express. This is going to be give him just mobility in the start. So if you haven't reached this skill. This passive is going to be used initially. This one is also one, yeah. So you're gonna be have you're gonna be using this one in the start. And again, his kit is well balanced, superb, you know, superb damage. I think survivability is also good because HP was rated high, A or an S. Um, leadership skill wise, this is similar to. He wants women beside him. So what 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 can you complain about that? But again, um this is easy to pull off. So you usually have a lot of um uh women in your lineup. Um again, this will be easy, especially for PvP. He, this guy is really, I think, meant for PvP. Uh, for PvE both. PvP and PvE is going to be OP. So, and also, just want to highlight, guys, for the bond here. First one is semi. Most of you guys have semi, except if you're just a beginner. And this one is going to be Marguerite. So, you just, you really have to get Marguerite eventually uh, if you plan to get Jin. Um, what are the scenarios that you're going to be choosing Marguerite over Jin? Probably if you have Charlotte, one, if you don't plan to get Jin. And also if you plan, if you need a mage more than a warrior, probably you're going to be skipping Jin for Marguerite. But again, if you, if you don't really mind um, having another warrior, and if you're full of mages already, then... 
you may go for gym. I'm saying both of them are actually very OP. It's just the priority on who to choose first over the other because I'm sure most of you will be going after both of them. So if you're if if you want to go with Jim, it's totally fine. Um, he's still going to be OP, and eventually all of you guys will be going after Marguerite. So again, not a problem with going with Jin. Um, to be frank with you guys, I'm leaning towards Jin at this point. I have a lot of mages um, leveled up at this point, so I can actually my 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 what they call this my my only goal is to bolster my PV PVP roster because it's really really lackluster and I really need Jin there. I'm gonna have to replace Sighard in my starting lineup. Okay, so that is it, guys. So let us check first um, the hero experience for Jin, so that it may give you more reasons whether uh, you're going to be pulling for him or not. Okay, so here we are with our hero experience for Jin. And uh, this is not gonna take a while, uh, take a, a long bit. So there you go. As I've said, um, Jin has a very nice kit when it comes to um, when it comes to what do you call this? When it comes to his overall utility, he has nice AOE, as you can see there. A very nice AOE damage um, to soften um, your enemies up. Then once you confirm. Then next turn is you're gonna be reaping the benefits because again the preemptive strike of the first strike is gonna give you additional attacks during you know the enemy's turn without them dealing damage to you. As you can see there, if you give him a ton of damage, um, enemies won't be able to you know to withstand his um, his uh, counter attack or his uh, first attack. So. Let's just skip that and let's focus on this. So you have two choices here. So deal damage to all enemies with rage. This one is attacks a single enemy. So let's do that because he's only one. There you go. So again, guys, as you see there, a lot of nice goodies when it comes to Jin's kit. And I'll leave you to it. Um, I've given you all of the reasons whether you should get him or not. Probably not. I'm not saying don't get him. You delay in, in favor of Marguerite. But again, he has a lot of upside depending on your need, depending on your lineup, and depending on your priority. So I'm going to be moving on to Marguerite after this and probably give you also my thoughts on Marguerite as well. So thank you guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.